when you're working in a state like Texas that does not do an adequate job to bring basic health care to people, you know when you get up in the morning, your job is to advocate for more people to have access to the basic care they need, whether you work for Planned Parenthood or not. I would hate to see other families denied the right to choose what is best for them. The Lieutenant Governor has agreed that SB5 is dead. Wendy Davis, a Democrat, took a stand against a bill restricting abortions in the state. That fight is not over, however. Late today, Texas Governor Rick Perry called a new special session to convene on July 1st to take up that same abortion bill. It is a very happy, uh, celebratory day. First trimester abortion can be safely performed in a non-ambulatory surgical center in a doctor's office. Um, but we are complying with the law, so we purchased an ambulatory surgical center. <laughs> so the old center? It was working. It was safe, it was working, um, but we're gonna be moving here. Extra wide hallways, special ventilation, surgical facilities. This is one of the um, exam rooms. It's not entirely ready. One thing that's really important to remember when you're talking about HB2 is it's not just that law, right? I think when you look at any one provision that's been passed, you may think, well, that doesn't seem so horrible for women. But what's happened in Texas is that it's the layering of this provision and this requirement and that requirement. This is on top of the slashing of the funding for women who don't have health insurance and for whom getting an annual exam, finding the money is a hardship. The closings of more than 75 preventive health care centers that women were relying on for their basic health care. So it's, it's a crisis for women's health in Texas.